awareness, they feel their heart full of love. They become the lovers. A love for a no material beautiful light being beloved. حافظ he says بیا و کشتی ما در شت شراب انداز come and drive our sheep into the stream of intoxicated river in this moment the companions of the Sufi seeker who taste the mystical experience feel an order a special experience as well. I mean by this that the near death experience infect the environment and the individuals in that environment. That they can share this out of body experience of the seeker. It is just because the death or near the experience produce a kind of a special field in the environment and everybody can feel this changement. The moment of the passage of the Sufi seeker to the second state of transition and meeting with the light being on the other side of the long tunnel is known as the moment of Vasl. Vasl Vasl means when the lover and beloved are one. The moment of unity. Vasl. So it is one step further than the step of Didar encounter. In Didar or mystical encounter, Sufi meets the beloved eternal light being. They become face to face in front of each other. And a powerful stream of love is exchanged between lover and beloved. So, this powerful stream annihilates the entity of lover, of observer. Afterward, the Sufi goes one step further. He is no longer in Didar, but in the step of Vasl. He is no longer in front of the eternal light being, but he gains awareness of himself as the light being. It is the moment of the of annihilation of the Sufi in that life being, which qualified as the state of fana, no being, extension, no existence. Once the awareness of the observer is annihilated the lover becomes one with the eternal beloved, reaches the eternity, which it is known as the stage of Baqa, the eternity. This mystical experience is an effect, transmutation of the mystic to a superior state of awareness. In first step of meditation, he is a seeker. In second step, he is the observer. In third step, he is the target of his own observation. United with the observer. This is known as unity or wahdat. Who am I, my beloved? Who is my beloved? Me. We are both one reality, unity, in the mirror of duality. He is no longer there. 
that is only a light being. He sees the ultimate experience of unity that the Sufi seeker face. So in this moment he feels in a colorful and aromatic garden. So the Sufi master, imagine that the Sufi master is sitting down in his place in deep meditation and the companion are sitting down around him. All of a sudden everybody senses a very mystical perfume. This perfume is not perceptible, but it is real. As the gate of the heaven is open to the Sufi in meditation, he enters the stage of encounter in a no material garden and his companion who sit around him experience the propagation of a mystical perfume from a heavenly garden. So certain people collected from certain nurses who are care of the dying old person in the terminal phase of their life. That in the moment of the death of the patient, the nurses suddenly sense a very strange and pleasant perfume, which penetrates into the room of the hospital and everybody around the bed of the patient, of the dying person, senses it. So the nurses know that the patient in that moment has passed away. This is the moment that the electrocardiograph registers the straight line. The heartbeat stops. This is how a living person experiences the passage of life from this world to the next. And this is also the manner how the nurses who take care of dying often experience this passage to the next relief. So, all of the experiences of a Sufi seeker is explained in the rhythms of the poetry, which is the result of his own experience. And because of this, when people, they are exposed to the recitation of the poetries of the Sufi masters, they feel themselves as the fishes in the middle of an ocean of intoxication. They feel that the space, that the time stops and the space changes. This is a kind of particular experience. They cannot explain how it is. But often in the middle of the Gnostic traditional gathering, you feel, when you go there, you feel that the atmosphere is full, is full of a kind of energy, and the space and the time lost their meaning totally. And there is a connection between the hearts of the people who are in that place. It is because of this that Rumi, he explained that the Sufi seekers, they don't learn anything by reading, but only by looking. Looking. So as looking opens the door, the gate. Looking. Thank you.